guys, Mike Toy, Bonsai Boise. So today, it's snowing outside, so I moved everything indoors. We're gonna do this inside today. First on deck is this odd looking pine. I don't know what kind of pine it is. I got it at a supermarket, it was on clearance for $3. It's one of those deals that they were selling as a miniature Christmas tree and you know, I saw it, I couldn't help myself, so I got it. So today I'm gonna take it out of this pot, uh, get a look at Kind of a better look, I guess I should say, at what's going on inside there. See how much trunk is actually just covered up by soil. Maybe we can expose some more trunk there. And then repot it into this pot here, which is nothing special. It's just a little bit larger and it'll give us some room to grow. So on top of that, I might try to add some shape to it, uh, depending on how it looks and how it goes, but I might try to make it into some kind of a bendy S shape. We'll see, but that's the tentative plan for now. Let's hop in and get started. All right, I'm back. So let's go ahead and dive in here and see what we're working with. So on top, I can tell you, it looks like it's a lot of peat moss, which is typical. I'm just gonna kind of pull it out of here. some of this stuff out of the way while we're working because I have a tendency to just knock this stuff over if I'm not paying attention <laughs> so there's a look at the inside there it's like a good uh, root system just gonna sort of pull away some of this topsoil or I, mean, I should say soil on top, not topsoil, because it is not topsoil. That's different entirely. Okay, so as I'm pulling it away here, it looks like there is some good trunk line here that we can expose. I'm, I'm not going to bare root it because uh, it looks like there's some cotton or something in, in there. I don't know what that is. I'm going to trim away some of these bottom roots here. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is to a, it looked like they weren't all that alive down there anyways. And B, um, it, typically when you cut the, the tips of the roots off at the bottom, just like if you were to cut the tip of a branch off, it stimulates new growth. So that's what we want. All right, so it looks pretty good. I'm going to keep most of this intact. I, mean, I don't want to go too crazy here. I just want to sort of loosen it up. That way when we pot it into the new soil, the roots will be able to spread out easier and gain new growth. Okay, so that, that gives us a good idea here. Give you a look. I'm trying to see, I mean, I can't help messing with it a little bit. I'm trying to see how much more of this trunk we can expose. It's like we got a little bit more we can do. Okay. I know I keep saying okay and then I just keep going, but I can't help myself. It's it's almost entirely peat moss, I think. It's really soft soil. I want to keep it in the root ball that it's in for the most part. So now that we have a look at that, let's decide what we want to do with some of these branches. Let me clean some of this up real quick. Be right back. So let's get a look here. So it seems like this side of the tree, it's almost like it fell over at some point and just laid like that. <laughs> That's the impression I get because the branches are all bent and no new branches have really formed out this direction unless we were to can wire some of these actually okay so options 
options. I think I'm gonna get rid of this lower part right here, which is always a shame because look how healthy that is. It's always the biggest, healthiest branches that we gotta get rid of. But unfortunately, I think it's gonna be the case. Same here, we're gonna wanna get rid of it because we want it to be somewhat uniform. But we don't wanna get too cut happy, so we're taking one last look here. Okay, here's a couple things we're gonna do. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. Okay, you see here we've got two branches sprouting at the same spot right there. We'll get rid of stuff like that. There's another one right there. That one right there. And we've got a little decision point here because this is that big crazy branch. Could actually lose the whole branch and just go with this new one to balance it out or could get rid of the new one and just trim the big one back which actually I'm more of a fan of so I think we're gonna do that get rid of this I'm just looking for more spots where branches are growing out of the same spot working my way up the trunk here I'm not seeing any more if you see any, just yell at me. That joke never gets old. Okay, I think that's all of them. So, now I will say, for the record, I don't have a lot of experience with pines. I usually work with deciduous trees, but um, I've got a couple, so I'm not completely noob at it, but... Um, I'm sure someone who specializes in this type of pine is probably cringing at some of the stuff I'm doing. So just take it with a grain of salt, as always. Yeah, so. I think what we'll do here. I can't decide. I, honestly, I can't decide between one or two things. Here's where I'm struggling. I can't decide between either A. Trimming some of these back and making it more of a cone-shaped, like Christmas tree, basically. I'm using it as a miniature Christmas tree for next year. Or B, bending the heck out of everything and make, putting it in some type of cool S shape. I think for now I'm going to go with miniature Christmas tree. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's do it. So we've got this guy here. We know we're going to have to take it back. So we're going to take it back for starters to there. Over here, we'll take it back to there. This one, we'll take it back to there. dead branch in there we'll get rid of it or close to dead this will take back to there this is my little charlie brown christmas tree here i'll actually take this one back one step further And we'll wire some of these out so that they're growing in this direction more. Or we could also just face it toward the sun. Let the let nature do it for us. And that's what I'm more a fan of most of the time. So let's get it in the new pot and see how it looks. We may have to do a little bit more trimming, but it looks good for now just to get us a rough idea of how we want it to be. So let me get the new pot. Be right back. Okay, so we got the new pot here. As for soil. I'm going with my normal mix of bonsai soil with one exception. I added a lot more pine bark just to give it more organics in there. Give you a look here. And I posted a couple of videos on how I make my soil. I'll put a link uh, to how to do that right here. This should be pretty straightforward now. I'm just gonna take the tree, situate where we want it to be. And this one, since we're going for a balanced 
symmetrical round Christmas tree type of a style. I'm going to put it right dead center of the pot. One last attempt here at exposing more of that trunk. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna clean this up and get some water and give it a good sir, uh, thorough soaking now. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let me go ahead and give it a good soaking now. Then I'm gonna show you a trick that I do that you can use as an alternative to wiring branches. Some people really love wiring branches. I really don't for whatever reason. I mean, I do it sometimes, but if I can find other ways of doing it, that I know will not leave scars on branches or make it look too unnatural, then I'll usually do the alternative. Let me just finish giving this a good soaking here. <laughs> okay, so now here's what I'm gonna show you. The trick that I do. Take some shish kebab sticks, and it works on smaller trees like this where you don't have a huge branch structure to work with. See, what I want to do is I want to add some branching to this big dead spot here, but I, I just don't want to wire it because, you know, I just, like I said, I don't really like to if I can avoid it. So what I'll do, I'll take one of these, put the branch in place. Sometimes it takes a little wiggling around to get it just right, but boom, just like that. And you leave it there long enough, and also you face the side toward the sun. And that way they're wanting to grow in that direction anyways, because plants and foliage will always grow toward the sun. Uh, but doing it this way long enough, eventually you can just pull the stick out and the branch will be in place. So I'm going to do that with a couple of these branches here. It's got a lot of foliage over here. Or if maybe I should just get rid of this bottom part of the branch altogether. I'm starting to think I should. We'll balance out the energy and the vigor of the tree. So I think we're gonna do it. Yep, we're definitely gonna do it. So I'm gonna make the cut right here. And I'm gonna start right here first. Let's see how that looks, and then I may take this one off too. Now we are gonna leave that one there. I'm glad I did that. So we're gonna leave that one there. I don't know if I should trim it back at all though. And I'll just add one more shish kebab stick right there. Hold it in place. Just like that. Let's see, I saw a couple other spots here to look at. Maybe not, maybe that was it. Oh, that was it right there. See if I can do this without messing it all up. There we go. That was it. <laughs> okay, so here's a quick recap. So all I did is I took it out of the soil it was in, or the peat moss, I should say, loosened up the soil, trimmed off the bottom parts of the roots, um, took some of the soil off, but more or less kept the root ball intact put it in some new bonsai soil that was heavy on organics trimmed up some of the branches and kind of evened out where the energy was going here yeah give you a little spin here then we maneuvered some of these branches in place and kept it there by putting some shish kebab sticks so that they can't move, hopefully. <laughs> and now, 
we just wait for next Christmas. And this will be my little bonsai Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please do leave them in the comment section because I love learning about trees. I don't know everything there is to know. So uh, any knowledge you have is always greatly appreciated. And if you like this video or other videos, please click like and subscribe on the channel and uh, see updates on this and other ones. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.